Okay, this is the shot we are trying to recreate and the majority of the work here is just tracking the scene and trying to recreate this entire building structure thingy. So yeah, let's get to it. So open up Blender and go to your motion tracking panel. Now here we want to drop in our footage. So this is our footage right here. Let's click set scene frames and prefetch. Good. Now we want to track this. At frame one hit, detect features. Then you want more features. This was the mistake I made. This gave me headache because I was trying to track it the first time just like this and it didn't work out because there were a lot of um, features on the floor that wasn't tracked. So let's increase it. So click detect features and here bring your threshold down until you have more things on the floor. Something like this, yeah. That's fine. So track forward. Then at the end, detect features again and track backwards. Now you could Alt D to take out the red markers. Now let's bring up this tab here and delete these crazy looking track markers that are just all over the place. So what inspired this video was a video I saw on Instagram. Someone sent me on IG and I, I thought it was really cool. Someone sent it to me this morning and I went out this morning to shoot it and just fr I tried to find two buildings that I could hang stuff off of. So yeah, I was just out and about looking for where to shoot. The reference I saw, I think it was all CG and it was like a CG sitting room or something like that. But yeah, this was my version of it, but in a CGI VFX type thing. So now let's hit solve camera motion. And we're having a one pixel solve error. Okay, not bad. Now let's just go through the scene and make sure we don't have any markers on people or moving objects. So our people here don't have any markers. That's good. or reflections or things like that. Yeah, reflections are the worst because <laughs> they really mess up the perspective. Okay, let's just go to clean up and clean tracks. Then drag your reprojection arrow forward to select some of the tracks. And now here you want to be careful not to select a lot of tracks on the floor. Because for some reason, when I tried tracking this a lot of times, it selected a lot of floor tracks and I need those markers to set the floor. So, X to delete, let's see, cool, now let's solve it again, my 8 got better, let's delete some more of this, so let's do this entire thing again, clean tracks, with projection error, and X to delete, now let's try that again, 0.7, okay. Let's refine focal length and optical center so it takes more time to calculate the solve. Okay, we can work with this. Let's hit setup tracking scene. Change this, flip it around 1080 by 1920. And then let's select three markers on the floor to make it our floor. Um, I think let's do this, this, and this, and hit floor. Now let's go to layout to check out our track. Hopefully this is sticking to the floor. Yes, it looks like it is. Now we just basically want to try and, as much as possible, recreate this geometry, which is basically the buildings. We don't need to make it super accurate, but then so far we follow the lines we want our shadow to catch, then we're good. So let's rotate this. Yeah. And let's bring it forward. So line it up with this line. Scale it on the X, X axis. Okay, let's make sure you can see that throughout. Good. Let's click on this box in edit mode GZ1. Yeah, just for reference. Then let's 
in edit mode click on the plane then on this edge you want to drag it on the g y y axis so i want to make sure it is well covered okay at the beginning let's drag it out yeah so you can see good good okay now what we want to do is click on this edge e z to extrude up and get to the point where this building um, stops let's go to vertex select and bring this vertex up cool now back to edge select okay now i want to add another plane so let's add another plane or no just let's just separate this one instead so click on this shift d to copy it then p selection to separate it so we have an extra one here so we want to take this and move it on the x x axis so gxx here yeah it wants to be right beside and then go to edit mode edge select i want to drag this as high as possible so drag it on the z axis okay that's it for that and for this guy let's duplicate this to d x x and bring it on this side okay let's see how it is so far okay so there is a point where we can see the edge of the right building around here so we want to line that up with this guy here g x x and uh, let's rotate this on the y-axis just try and line it up here okay cool let's take this higher a bit i think this building is a lot higher than the other one yeah now on this side make sure everything's parallel cool 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 now on this side in edge select let's click this and extrude on the y y axis so e y y so you bring it up until around here cool let's take this one up and on the y axis nice now let's do the same thing for this guy in edit mode edge select this edge and e y y to bring it in cool now we can come out of here and this is around where we want this guy to stop so we'll click on this middle one in edge select we want to extrude it on the y axis so e y y up until you stop somewhere here yeah so we know where that edge is because we can't see it from this perspective so let's extrude upwards in the camera view e z so we have this you can bring this vertex up a bit then click on the edge and we can also extrude this back because that is how the building is basically E Y Y. Cool. So let's play that back and see how well it tracks. Yeah. I think it's working. So let's look at the render in rendered view. Go and change the render engine to cycles. GPU. Go to environment texture. And find an HDRI that is a sunny day. Let's try Delta. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. We need something sharp with harsh shadows. So this is nice, but the light is pointing in the wrong direction. You can see the shadows are casted on this direction. We want it the other way. So let's go to shading. Change this from object to world. And Control T here to create these mapping nodes. Let's change that back go back to layout now in our world settings we will be able to see vector mapping and we can rotate this 
So let's rotate the Z rotation by. I don't think this is right, so let's rotate it a bit more. So about, let's see, let's see what 220 looks like. Yeah, so it's it's tilted to this angle a bit. Yeah, I think this is, is a lot better. So we can turn this back on, turn on the shadow catcher. Yeah, so the lighting looks something more like this. So now we have everything pretty much set up. We have the track and we have our shadow catchers set up. So all we need now is to just drop in our object. So I found this car, this Porsche on CG Trader. Porsche 911 Carrera, I think. So let's just align it to look like it's falling downwards. So on the top view, let's rotate this this way. Then rotate it on the X axis. So on the Z axis, I'm bringing it here. Yeah, I wanted to cast a shadow on the building at the back. And let's look in the camera view. Um, so the camera comes up and reveals it. Nice. And let's rotate it on the X axis a little bit more. Let's bring it down a bit. Okay, I think this is good. Now let's just add the cables. So you can do this a lot of ways. I use the cylinder. Add it however you like, but I use the simple cylinder. And scaled it on the Z axis a lot. Now let's just drop this where we want them to be. So I want this one to be at the back here. Let's bring it up. Okay, this is too high. Let's scale it on the z-axis. Or just scale it in general, yeah. And bring it down. Now let's do S-Shift-Z to scale it so it's quite tiny. Yeah. Just a little bit more. Okay, cool. Now we have it here. Now let's um, add a solidify modifier so we can adjust the thickness after the fact you want to make it thicker or slimmer so let's just keep that there okay now let's duplicate this on the other side of the back of the car and let's duplicate this to the front somewhere here and this somewhere here now let's bring the two in front, so let's bring them down. Yeah, just make them intersect with the car. Bring this one down. And yeah. Now let's make these things, I think they're too thick. Let's do an S Shift Z. Make it a bit slimmer and same here S shift C. Okay, cool. Now, why is this floating up here? It needs to be touching the car. It depends on how you orient the car, anyways. Mine was facing more downwards, but with the way this one is curving, let's put the this rope on the wheels somewhere here yeah that makes that makes more sense let's bring it out here a bit and for this one where can we put it the remaining three looks nice um let's hook this to the mirror <laughs> i wish i have more time for every single one of these videos because there are some things i only realize when i'm making the tutorial but that's what challenges are about. You just have to get it out unfailingly that day. Cool. Let's see how this looks. Hope this is not intersecting with the car. Okay, it is. We can fix that. Yeah, this looks this looks nice. Yeah. Looks like the car is being held. So the last thing I did was to attach this to other parts of the building. So you can either leave it like this, which actually works. Let's play it. Yeah, since we can't see the top, we, we can assume there is something holding the building down. But then, I wouldn't want us to do this because 
it looks like it's just been attached to the sky so let's attach it to the actual building click on each of these cylinders and go into edit mode and alt z so you can see the transparency select the top and drag it down to this level and select this and drag it down to similar level cool select this top this top face now shift right click so you can add the cursor here then do a shift s and select it to cursor so it basically just stretches in that direction and for this let's connect it to somewhere on this wall like somewhere here let's see how that looks okay, let's connect it to the edge here go into edit mode select that face and shift s selection to cursor yeah and for this guys let's connect this to this edge here edit mode shift s selection to cursor and the same thing here too the why is this thing having this weird shading let me shade flats yeah i was finding it hard to see the edge so click somewhere here and click on this shift s selection to cursor yeah now it depends on how how it looks you need to make it look natural yeah this looks very weird i must admit <laughs> yeah so just adjust it in a way that makes sense so for example if the car is moving in this way i think it would make more sense to attach this to the top here let's see how that looks edit mode shift s selection to cursor let's see how this looks but yeah it seems like the tension is coming from here and here and this guy is balancing the tension over here yeah okay so where's the third one okay we can't see this one we can't see it in frame oh we can let me hide it let me see it needs to look believable okay i think it's a lot better with just this three yeah depending on how you rotate the car will determine how you align this so it doesn't look weird yeah i think this is a lot better this guy coming in here this guy coming in here looks balanced then for this one let's take it a little bit higher let's just do this yeah it looks more natural like that yeah so it looks like three strings are holding the car down nice let's see it in the rendered view okay this looks like a nice render yeah you see how it's casting a shadow here and also here let's delete the cube you don't need that anymore now it looks like our background is too dark okay okay i think the background image is not full opacity so let's go to camera background images and increase this to one yeah 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 it looks better now i still think the highlight on this guy is too much a bit so i can adjust this to 8.8 the strength of our world lighting so i think this looks good and you can also change the uh, material on the cylinders obviously don't keep it white except that's what you're going for if you want it white to look more like um, spider webs that's up to you but then I want something that is black and a little bit metallic. Yeah. So it's like steel cables. And do the same thing for the rest of the cables. Now we have a good looking scene. Now you can adjust the height of the car and the cables if you don't want the shadow to be casted this low. I actually even prefer it like this to get it this low. Yeah, this is very nice. So yeah, I would love to play this back, but then, <laughs> yeah, this is a lot for my PC to render. So let's just play it in this view. Yeah, there we go. Let's make this invisible, so just for illustration, so you guys can see it. Yeah. Well tracked. Okay, that's basically it, guys. If you want to learn about product ads, CGI ads, and you want to get really in-depth in the entire concept and the entire process from filming up until post-production, editing, compositing, color grading, I'm launching my course for this topic on the 15th of August. So if that is something you are interested in, you want to get serious, you want to do it for your business, you want to do it for clients, the link will be in the description. I'll see you in the next one.